What are some of best responses to how are you? By Tusta Tuna Elan Tulchi up in Vito to got Miss Many. A quote from an already past Finnish poet Tommy Taberman. Directly translated it means we have come here from the vagina. And we are going towards the vagina here as well. But the word vagina is not a positive thing in this context. It means things are going badly. If there are any fellow Finns here, you could try to translate the so it works in English. I tried but was unable to make it work. Context matters. If it's someone you don't know, or are in a meeting you say something like can't complain I'm alright. How about you? They don't really care. It's just a greeting. If you're someone you have some relationship with like a friend or a close co-worker, and you can actually elaborate a bit as a conversation starter. It's all about the social cues. The question itself isn't really relevant. Which I guess can make it tricky sometimes. My ex had a brilliant way of answering especially if it's a salesperson asking how are you or can I help you. He would start talking to them like you would to a therapist. He would say well it all started in my childhood. My parents were absent most of the time etc. 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 He could really ramble on making it up as he went along. That got people to leave him alone. I've talked about this with a friend who deals with depression and experience negative things quite often. She says she doesn't know how to respond BC life is shit. I told her to think about the last good thing that happened to you and reply with it. For example, how are you? In could I just ate the best ice cream ever? Works very well. Questioner how are you? Answer how I hate you. I will cut off your limbs and shove them inside your throat and chop your head off with a toothbrush that will ensure a slow and a painful death that you totally deserve. Questioner. Answer oh. Sorry. I wanted to say I'm fine. Thanks dot dot. They're too middling dot dot dot. Why less folk who know the term these days anyway? It is also easy to say without stumbling around. So it is my standard response to the question anywhere. You also don't sound like a maudlin sod either. The day after my mom was killed I went to a dentist appointment and the receptionist asked me this. I said it's been shit. But I appreciate you asking when he gave me a $5 off Sonic coupon to make me feel better. Any better, I wouldn't be able to cope with the day. There's plenty up at the cemetery that did love to feel this bad. Still the right side of the grass. Well, I woke up this morning, everything else is a bonus. I've always found it harder to reply to what's up, especially as a way of greeting. So many things are up. How am I to sift through those things and then tell you in a span of six seconds as you walk past me? A sob story about how you are really doing. Keep on going for five minutes and enjoy the shocking stare and restlessness of the other person who just wants to move in with their life. I'm well, yet somewhat apprehensive, for I'm aware that one day the Milky Way and Andromeda Galaxy shall collide, and what can I do to prevent it? Alas, what a lamentable fate. The important thing to remember is that 99 of the time, this is a greeting, not an actual question about your life. The standard response is just good. How are you? Not good, but good enough dot 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 unfortunately. This has been the standard for me this year thus far. 2024 hasn't been fun. At work it's better by the hour. My answer is, do you want the fake answer or the real answer? Fake answer I'm fine. How are you? Real answer no one wants this one. I just say, I'm well. Thank you for asking. I then ask them. But I usually regret that decision. Most people respond with tired. We're all tired. I really hate that US English phrase. Have no idea how to respond. So it's always awkward for me dot dot. Usually just say good fine. Well, the story of how I came to be is a long and interesting tale of woe and wonder but I'll save that for another time. Pull out my handy social interaction cheat sheet and quickly search through it with my index finger and say not much. It is not meant to be answered honestly. Say fine and move on so you don't get dragged into a depressing conversation. In my country people sometimes say can Jenna Klagen. 
It's roughly translated to I can't complain enough. If you reply with anything other than good those that asked how you are, do not know how to respond react. It's tough work caring around this sass and humor, but it's a toll I have to pay for being that awesome. I usually say great, thanks so much for asking, or I'll say you know, another day another dollar. Long story short, totally okay. Long story short starts to tell a long story about since I woke up. I feel like a silly goose today. Guarantee they'll never try to make small talk with you ever again. Turn around and scream as loud as I can then turn back to face the person and say fine how are you. Had a customer older gentleman every day at work. There'd have to be two of me to be any better. I don't know where he got it from. But my uncle always used to say tickety boo and in the ping. Just peachy tone is key, can be interpreted as positive or negative depending on application. I'm groovy, hopeless happy for another round of endless fulfillment dream in delightful time. Pretty good, not bad, can't complain, but actually everything is pretty much the same. Feeling good and looking better I'll make a burlap sack feel like the cashmere sweater. Just doing this thing called life. One day at a time always gets a good chuckle. My dad always says I'm doing great dot 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 but it will get better and I love it. Just say I'm fine I am thing. So we need to be poetic to respond to this lmao. I'm good and you. I'm gen x I don't burden other people with my problems. Everything I eat turns to shit and when I close my eyes I can't see a thing. Hi. How are you? Good how are you? Kid. How are you? Silence. I like to say better than you. It always catches people off guard. I'm doing great. Just living the dream of paying bills and adulting. Dizzier than a one-legged cat trying to bury a shite in a frozen pond. Honestly, I'm on autopilot before I even realize, so I just say fine. Please help me, I'm under the water. Here too much raining. Ah, oh. sitting up. Taking nourishment going to the bathroom on my own, living the dream, one existential crisis at a time. How about you? I'm on the right side of the dirt is one of my go-to responses. Doing well. How are you? This is what they are waiting for. Living the dream. How about yourself? This is my go-to response. I'm one minor inconvenience away from turning into the joker. I'm good. You should always say this even when you're not good. Good. W. It's a greeting, not a question most of the time. Don't say a word, stop, clutch your chest, and actually die. While the weather's been kind to us, but the horses you know. I have to stop answers, not to bad, distinctly average. Present, good morning, works better in the afternoon. Spock, I do not understand the question. Spock, living the dream, still not dead unfortunately awake. If having a great day, I'm doing well, and yourself, I think I'm going to make it usually gets a chuckle. So a shirt I love the horrors persist. As do I. Uncle used to say poppin, but ain't stopping I guess. Deep sigh. Fine. Deeper sigh. And yourself? Upright and breathing. Better than the alternative.